Hello and welcome to WebRTC video call with Socket.io on Node.js. In this video, we'll look through a video call application that uses WebRTC and Socket.io as a signaling server. The signaling server is written on Node.js. Let's get started about WebRTC. WebRTC is a technology that allows web application to capture audio and video from the browser and it allows communication of data between browsers without requiring any intermediary server okay um, webrtc enable peer-to-peer -peer communication between browsers webrtc allow peer-to-peer -peer communication but they webrtc need a server a signaling server at least once to establish the connection so once the connection is established the server is out of the equation okay the signaling server is used to transfer three signals offer signal answer signal and the information about the network connection okay the network connection information here about the route to follow and the webrtc pick the base route to choose and once the and the connection is established through that router okay there is a concept called stone and tone server if an application is behind the network address translation net server uh, the ip address is mapped into different ip address so the application cannot find their ip address by itself so, so they use a stone server which which provide the ip address and the port of the application in the public prospecting if the application if the stone server cannot fulfill the requirement we will use the tron server tron server will simply relay the data between two endpoints okay so here will be a tron server when a client a send the data it will send to the tron server and tron server will send that data to client b okay in this way the tron server is used okay uh, let's check the project okay here is our node.js application it's simply basic we establish a uh, as it create a server as db servers and we have an init io here we initialize the socket okay on the socket io is passed here we require the socket io we are using four point something for this application so when connecting this sends the query as the name so we pick the name and say we pick the name and save it on the user and we create a room of the same name so uh, we don't need to track the user information so whenever a user call to this user we'll simply emit in this room so that user will get uh, this is not the perfect option but at least that that will work for this use case and as i had already told we have just three options that signaling server need to do it need to transfer the offer that is called answer the response to the offer and i see candidate it's the in information about the network okay so whenever a user calls they need to send a name of the user whom they want to call and the rtc message it is the offer message here and we pass that to through socket to that Kali so and whenever the Kali want to answer they just uh, get the they get the this RTC message they use that to generate a response offer answer response to that offer and they pass it back and will pass that to the caller okay and in case of i see candidate the application the client application find the different candidate different option different path they want to connect through they can establish the connection and they simply transfer that information to another client and once they they decide to use one of that i see candidate the connection established okay this is this simple the back inside code is simple okay now let's get start with the front end code i have a simple HTML page here we pick the username 
pick the um, name of the user and ask the user to log in so that name will be used as the username once the user enter the name uh, I had uh, I have made I had just hide these here I display to none I said the property of display to none so they all these are hidden and only these will be seen for the first time once the user login will show the user information which will simply write the hello and whatever the name they type and then we show the call screen where in the call screen the user can enter the name of the user whom they want to call and they can click the call button and there is an answering screen which will show the incoming call the name of the user and they have the option to answer the call and there is calling screen when we call this will show that we are calling and if we are in the call that it's this display the information about the call we are in okay and these two videos is for the local video and the remote video once a connection has been established okay here is the this login so this whenever the user enters the name and click the login button we simply set that information to my name variable and create the and call the connect socket method okay here is our call.js so here is a call event that will be fired when the user click the call button okay i have the sample let's run the project first Okay, so we want to enter the name based on its RAM login. So now user RAM is logged in. So whom, whom do you want to call? So we want to call Sita as I. Okay, and then we click the call. Okay. So this this call event will be fired whenever we click call. So whenever we click call, we call this be ready method. This will return the promise and once it's written we process the call okay let's check the be ready method in be ready we simply get the user media audio and video and set the local media to the stream and we create and we call the method create connection and add stream okay this will okay here's the method and this will call the create peer connection and in the peer connection it will add the stream to local stream okay let's check the create peer connection method here we create the peer connection R rtc peer connection with this config information this config information is about the stone and tom server so if the connection cannot be established with within so this information will be used mm, and on ic candidate this will be handled by the ic candidate this will simply send the ic candidate back to the other user okay so on add stream so whenever the stream is added from the remote remote stream is added is simply set the remote video src object to the remote stream and when removed this will simply remove it okay uh, that's it for the create connection and that handle ic candidate will be called when the local client finds some candidate and whenever this client find candidate it will simply forward this to the another connected client okay another connected user I'll provide this code so you can check as well but for simplicity I'll explain and once you look through the code you'll get it so whenever we the be ready is completed we'll go to the process okay process call and the process call will get the username peer connection create offer so uh, i mean this the uh, the uh, connection we want to call will create the offer and that offer will be the session description 
so here connection we set the local descriptor to this session descriptor so a uh, peer connection have two descriptor uh, so local session descriptor and remote session descriptor so we'll first create the local session descriptor and we'll send call today. i have talk uh, talk about this rtc message here in this call so rtc message this this rtc message will be sent to the this RTC message will be sent in that call event okay so whenever this call event is fired with the data it take the caller name and it emit that it message to the Kali okay so so we'll get this new call event trigger on another client that new call event will trigger whenever we get new call new call event we set the other other user to that color clr color so and rtc matches to the remote rc rtc message okay now we also display the option to accept okay so now the user can accept the call okay which the call accept and circle Okay, that's that's the event. Let's check it. So to so incoming call. Okay, so this answer method will be called. Okay, this answer method will call. Oh, the answer method will run that be ready method again because the answering client is different than the calling so it need to get the media then start the peer connection uh, and then process accept in process setup accept as i had already told there are two session descriptor so this this will set the remote descriptor to the rtc message sent by the client so peer connection set remote descriptor and peer connection will create the answer okay and the peer connection will return the session descriptor peer connection now set the received session descriptor as the local session descriptor okay, let's ignore this for now and then it will response this session descriptor message as rtc message to the caller okay so this will simply emit back to the data to server now the server get the answer call event so call answered event will be triggered to the original caller with the rtc message okay okay on call answer now we get the remote the original caller now get the re remote descriptor so it will set the remote descriptor and this calling information will be none okay and it's that that means the calling screen will be hidden and the call progress method will be called okay in the call progress method we just simply display the videos and the other user information to the other user information okay this completes the process so let's test it test it i have an application here um, about the web rdc the application can run cannot run on sctp server so it need to be https but uh, for local server it can work in the local server uh, this won't work even on the network application again so let's try with the same browser the user is logging as ram so let's log in this as sita login and so who do we want to call we'll call sita again we need to allow this is calling sita and as i had told there is a uh, there will be answer button so when we click the answer button this will establish the connection okay for now there is nothing more rest refresh it to cancel okay okay that's it 
we have established a connection between two peer uh, this in the we are in the local machine though the connection is established but to test with remote PC or two different devices I have my mobile phone and I have deployed this application to Heroku as well let's test that my phone is not stable but I think this will work in the phone I'll log in as see that and here I'll log in as RAM so let's call I'll call from the mobile RAM call hello okay we get the answer button here so let's answer this hello okay we got the call that's it we have our video calling application this is the basic setup that's required to establish a connection three on the VPN lines of JavaScript 169 uh, this application this HTML code can be optimized but for now but there is not more much work on the socket IO on the server side as I had told whenever a application or client is behind the net uh, that cannot establish a connection so for that we'll need some kind of stone and tone server so we can simply create Eastern and Tone server within the $5 credit of the credit application server of Alibaba Cloud or Amazon server or Microsoft Azure. We can simply create that. I have the video on that as well. I'll reference it in here. I'll share the project, the link of this project in the github as well so you can check the more detail there if you have any queries related to this application let us know i'll happy to answer those okay thank you have a good day bye